Hey everybody, I'm gonna show you um, correctly and then how to get the names from the QR code scannings into the attendance forms. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up a tab, a browser, and then you're gonna go to uh, this little uh, bookmark attendance. And then you're gonna find your school attendance sheets. So let's say that we're at Benson, you're gonna click on that. And it's gonna pull up the attendance sheet for all those students, right? Now, what I'd like to do is I'd like to select the date of that, of that day for Thrive. And then I'd like to just give it a new color just so that way it's easier to see. And then I put it right next to the names. And as, as I'm going and checking kids in, I just keep it right there and it's easier to follow. All right. Uh, and then you can just, you know, after you're done, you can just uh, go to here and put, uh, where is it? I think it's like no fill. So uh, let's say, for example, one day you go into the attendance, um, the names are not being frozen like this, meaning that when you go on there, uh, day, so it's hard to be able to go back and forth. What you want to do is you're going to go to this tab here, where it's up here and on top where it says view, and then you're going to click on the, the, the column right next to, or actually the row right next to the last names. Okay, for example, grade right here. And then once you click on view, you're gonna go to freeze paint and freeze at selection, All right, You're gonna go to freeze at selection. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna freeze at everything on the left side of this. So that, that way you can kind of just go through and then just line it up, right? Freeze paint, freeze at selection, but you gotta make sure that this is right here because if this is somewhere else, then it'll freeze everything to the left of that. All right. Now, once you've uh, inputted all the other students that have been to Thrive previously, now it's time to go and get the names out of uh, survey code and input them into the attendance, right? For all those new students that just use the QR code to sign in. So you're going to open up a new tab and then you're going to click on this bookmark right here where it says get feedback. Okay. And then you're going to go to the top right where it says sign in and you're going to click on sign in. And then you shouldn't have to use any passwords or usernames, uh, should automatic you in. If you have any trouble, just, you know, reach out to Coach Congress or Coach Timon, and we'll help you out with that. But it should just bring you to this page right here. And then you go to your left hand side right here, and you're going to go to the second uh, button surveys, right? You're going to click on surveys. And what you're going to do is you're going to go to the search bar. Okay. Actually, let me make this a little bit bigger. You're going to go to the search bar. And then you're going to put in intake, I-N-T-A-K-E, okay? And you're going to put, put return, and it's going to find this survey right here, which is called the Thrive Intake Form 2024-2025, okay? That's the only thing you want to click on ever. You're going to click on that. It's going to bring you to this survey. This is where all the surveys, or when they do the QR code scanning, this is where all the information goes. You're going to go to this left-hand column right here, and you're going to go to the third one down where it says results. Then you're going to click on that. And then you're going to go up to responses. All right. And you're going to click on that. And it's going to give you all the responses for all the schools. Now, we just want the responses for your school for that day. So you're going to go to the top right right here where it says export responses. And then you're going to click on that. And it's going to bring up this page. Okay. Now, here's something very important. We only want the responses for that date. Otherwise, you're going to get all the responses for the other schools. Okay. So, for example, yesterday was uh, October. So, if that's the day of Thrive, I want to pick on that date for the start date and also for the end date. Okay. So, these two dates should be the same date and they should be the date that it is that you're currently having Thrive. And then you're going to click on uh, Start Export. And then you might have some other ones here, but you want to make sure you click on the top one because that's your most recent one, right? So you're going to click on that. and You're going to click download. Now, the download will probably show up here. If you can't find it up here on this little download tab, then you can always also go down here to where the downloads folder. And then um, you should be able to bring up this folder and it'll be right here as well, right? So there's two ways to go. One is this one right here. You can just click on that. And it'll bring that up um, or you can go down here to the downloads uh, folder and then click on this and it'll give you the same 
document. Now, once you have this, you can see these are the students right here, okay? These, these students right here are the ones that signed in using the QR code because it's possibly, it's probably their first time in Thrive. So remember, when it's the first time the students attend Thrive, we want them to do scan the QR code so that way we can get all their information here, right? So all you're gonna need is the, their, their student ID number, their first name, their last name, their grade, their gender, you know, are you an ESL student? The answer to that, and is this your um, extra just these four, these these five right here? You don't need to get this last one. Is the this is their first time in Thrive? Yes or no? So you're gonna go back to the attendance sheet, okay? And you're gonna go all the way to the bottom, okay? Now, the easiest way to do this is just to scan these five things you need. So you need their student ID, their first name, last name, their gender. Uh, and then are you a ESL student? So you're going to click on that. You're going to copy that. And then you're going to come over here and you're going to click here and you're going to paste. Okay. So you're going to go to uh, paste. And there you go. We have all the information there. Now it's looking really small. So we're going to go and make it a little bit bigger. Center it. Okay. Make it look like the other ones there, you know, even with the color. And then there we go. We got the, the names of the students there. Um, is we're going to go over to the date, okay, that we have Thrive. And we, we also have to give them the, the credit for being there in Thrive. All right. So we're going to do that. Now they're in. And now the last thing we're going to do is we're going to go up here. And we're going to click on the last names tab right here, the filter, and then we're going to click on A to Z. Well, now what this is going to do is this is going to this is going to put all the names of the students into right. So we randomly put them here on the side, but inside here. So now now the names aren't down in the bottom, right? Because they've been integrated according to their last names into the attendance sheet. Now, if I undo that, I can undo that. Right now, they're still at the bottom right here. Now, here's one thing I want you to notice. OK, these students right here, they all gave me their student ID numbers, except this other student, this student right here, Elvina. She did not give me her student ID number. She gave me accidentally her email address. So I want to delete that. And I, if if I notice that, I want to go and talk to her and tell her, hey, uh, actually, we're missing an ID number so that way we can collect that. OK, let's say for some reason we missed this. The student uh, left or something we can't get it at that moment what i'd like you to do is i'd like you to actually names and the student in the and they miss an information and, and then i would like you to make that red so that way next time elvina comes to thrive we want to make sure to get that student id number from her all right because we want to have that this is the really important information that we need to have for that this student um is you know their grade level their gender and then whether they've been in in ESL or not. So if any of this information is missing, I'd like you to highlight it in red. And then that way, next time we kind of, you know, for example, we have a few of these students that we're missing some information from them. So as we're taking attendance, we're also looking at what information we still need to input from that student. And then we ask them there in that moment. All right. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, again, if you have any questions, uh, revisit this video, look it over again. So that way, make sure that you can understand uh, they can attend. All right. Thanks.